Bristol Community College, Mathematics with Dan Avedikian, Math 011, Arithmetic, Section 2.10, Problem 24. This is Section 2.10, Problem 24. It has 3 and then in parentheses, 1 half minus 1 third. So any type of math problem that has parentheses, the parentheses need to be done first. So let me deal with the 1 half minus 1 third first. And the other thing I'll point out is when there's no operation clearly indicated, like the 3 next to the parentheses, what's implied is multiplication. So even though they don't write 3 times the parentheses, that's really what they mean. So let me start by doing this. 3 times, and then in parentheses, I need to make a common denominator in order to subtract 1 half minus 1 third. So if I have denominators of 2 and 3, 6 would be a very good choice. So the 1 half I can write as 3 over 6. That's an equivalent fraction. 3 over 6 will reduce back down to 1 half. And again, what I did is I was looking at the denominator of 2 when I said I want to make it a 6. 2 times what becomes a 6? 2 times 3. So I have to multiply the numerator times the same value. 1 times that same 3 made a 3. And it is equivalent to 1 half. Now the 1 third can become 2 over 6. Same process. The 2 over 6 is equivalent to 1 third, but it's written so that I have a common denominator. And what I did, I was thinking if I want a denominator of 6, what I need to do is take the denominator I'm given, the 3, multiply it times something, well, times 2. 3 times 2 is 6. And then I have to multiply the numerator times the same value. So if I multiply times 2, 1 times 2 is 2. 2 over 6 is the same as 1 third. Now I can complete my work in the parentheses. So I have a 3 out in front times 3 over 6 minus 2 over 6. So combine the numerators, 3 minus 2 is 1, and the common denominator stays. So I have 3 times 1 over 6. Now, when you multiply fractions, you want to multiply top times top, bottom times bottom, or numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. And the 3 is just 3. It doesn't really have a numerator and a denominator. So to make the problem work out, let me write it as 3 over 1 times 1 over 6. You can turn any whole number into a fraction by putting a 1 under it. So now I can multiply top times top. 3 times 1 is 3. And bottom times bottom. Well, denominator times denominator. 1 times 6 is 6. So that gives me 3 over 6, which reduces to 1 half. And again, notice if I had wanted to, I could have reduced first and multiplied what's left. 3 goes into 3 once, 3 goes into 6 twice, and now on top, 1 times 1 is 1, and in the denominators, 1 times 2 is 2. So I still get the same 1 half. You can multiply first, then reduce what you get, or reduce first and multiply what's left. So the final answer, either way, is 1 half.